The Illinois taxpayer is going to find out how the governor plans to spend their money today as Governor J.B. Pritzker is prepared to give his state of the state and budget address. And it's going to be interesting to see how he weaves the uh, the needle for uh, the state's finances, especially with the prospects of a projected nearly billion dollar deficit heading into the fiscal year. Uh, so we'll uh, review that in this segment and get you guys updated on the latest and uh, the conversation ranging from the growing costs to fund subsidies for migrant health care, the ongoing migrant arrival and how they fund non-citizens and their shelter and their education and their food. Uh, but you've also got other competing interests like possible public asks of the White Sox to help build a new stadium. Uh, did a lot of uh, staking out yesterday to watch Jerry Reinsdorf uh, enter the offices of various legislative leaders uh, at the state capitol yesterday. Uh, I'm Greg Bishop. Thanks for hanging out with me. It's Bishop on Air here each and every weekday morning. Do this from my home studio. After this, I run over to the Capitol for my full-time gig, uh, and we cover what happens at the Illinois State House. You can find all that work at thecentersquare.com. And today is a big day at the State House because Governor J.B. Pritzker is delivering his State of the State and Budget Address. Now, the Illinois Constitution spells out that the governor is annually to provide the state legislature a, um, a proposed spending plan that uh, is equal to the amount of revenues that come in. Now, the governor uh, is now going to be delivering his sixth budget address, uh, and he's been in office since 2019. Uh, and he claims that he's passed balanced budgets since. And a lot of that, uh, the past, uh, if you remember, pandemic years, uh, there was billions of dollars given to not just the state government, which I got, I believe, like eight plus billion dollars, but it was the tens of billions of dollars uh, to the economy and local uh, governments getting tons of money, school districts getting tons of money, uh, uh, higher education getting tons of money, uh, but also the private sector getting tons of money. Uh, so you, you, you see in the, the governor talking about credit upgrades and balanced budgets, but uh, saying that the federal tax dollars didn't have anything to do with that. Critics of the governor say, well, that's not the case. So we're going to find out today how the governor wants to spend your tax dollars uh, for the fiscal year that starts July 1st. So it's the fiscal year. It's not like a calendar year. The fiscal year for the state of Illinois begins July 1st and it ends the following June 30th. So we're right now in fiscal year 2024 that started July 1st of 2023. So that's the, the fiscal year, right? So we're going to hear about fiscal year 2025 and how the governor wants to spend your tax dollars. So uh, part of that includes, of course, uh, the, the prospect of a uh, $900 plus million dollar deficit that's being projected. Uh, and we know that a lot of the budget, around 20% or so, uh, is going to be going to public sector pensions and K-12 through education. These are major elements of the state budget, uh, pension costs, at least in the current fiscal year of a 50 plus billion dollar budget, uh, pension costs are about $10 billion a year. Uh, and we could see even more money put towards that uh, because we have 140 plus billion dollar unfunded pension liability in the state of Illinois. Uh, so that's $10 billion. And then there's an additional $10 billion in the current fiscal year uh, of the $50 billion budget that goes to K through 12 education. So uh, pensions, uh, K through 12 spending, uh, you've also got just state operations going to eat up a lot of that budget as well. Everything from the Department of Children and Family Services to you know, the Department of Transportation and so on. Uh, but when you look at other uh, competing um, priorities, you've got the, the cost of non-citizen migrants uh, that as well is going to be rather pricey for the budget. Uh, the governor last week, and we talked about this, uh, along with Cook County, they announced they're uh, ready to spend $250 million in the next fiscal year on the ongoing non-citizen migrant crisis. Um, dealing with housing, dealing with wraparound services, dealing with food, dealing with education, uh, and even dealing with uh, getting attorneys for these um, individuals who are seeking asylum to get to their asylum hearing. Uh, so the taxpayers foot in the bill for that. But the state taxpayers looking at $182 million. So we know that the governor is going to announce. Uh, but uh, that's on top of the $478 million the state's already spent on the non-citizen arrivals since August of 2022. 
And that's on top of the more than $550 million the states spent in the current fiscal year on non-citizen adult health care that taxpayers are subsidizing. So um, if you recall, uh, that is a major point of contention with Republicans. They say that that goes too far. It's uh, uh, a budget buster. They even said this last year that the $550 million that were uh, budgeted was not going to be enough uh, and that it ultimately would be over that limit. And the projections of the non-citizen health care uh, are more than $700 million, and that's more than $200 million, more than the $550 million that was budgeted. Uh, so clearly, it, there's a lot of concern as to the, the migrant cost in all of that. Uh, but you've got other priorities that the governor's expected to announce. Uh, he's been touring the states in various ways, uh, stopping in, in locations considered to be uh, daycare deserts. So the governor, I think, is going to uh, really lean into uh, early childhood education. Uh, in the current fiscal year, in a new program that he announced last year at this time, the Smart Start program, and it spent around $250 million to fund daycare operations and to uh, bring on more daycare workers to what the governor's office said was, you know, try to uh, address the daycare deserts. Well, clearly, uh, that, that program now, uh, at the tail end of the first year, the governor is championing that. He's toured the state, uh, talking about thousands of additional daycare uh, seats being opened up through the Smart Start program. So it'll be interesting to see if he continues that new program, $250 million, or if he increases that. Uh, but obviously, you've got K-12 through funding, which we talked about before, $10 billion. That's going to uh, possibly see an increase of at least $350 million because of the uh, state's school funding formula, which was changed back in 2017. Uh, so they've gotten uh, upwards to $2 billion extra in the, in the past five to six years or so for K-12 through education. Uh, and then you throw into the mix uh, the possibility of the White Sox looking for some kind of public funds to fund a new stadium in the Chicago South Loop, uh, some vacant property there, uh, but the 87-year-old White Sox owner, Jerry Reinsdorf, was in town yesterday in Springfield, uh, bouncing from legislative leader office to legislative leader office. I uh, was able to stake that out and see him walking through. Uh, and later on in the evening last night, he did indicate that he hasn't asked for anything, but the speculation is that he could be asking for a billion dollars in public funds. What those terms would look like, would it be over 30 years or however that uh, plays out, who knows? Uh, but clearly that's, uh, that's something else that's being thrown into the mix here. Uh, but all this comes as the state continues to face, you know, some uh, bad headlines. You know, the state's got uh, among the highest property taxes. Uh, the state has an above national average unemployment uh, percentage. Uh, you've got uh, the states on an economic, uh, you know, scale, uh, not doing well uh, in the Midwest uh, on an economy review, uh, from corporate taxes to high taxes to you know, gas taxes and so on. Uh, but you also have the state's ongoing outbound migration, a decade of declined population in the state of Illinois, as per the U.S. Census data. Uh, so all of these things, you know, really kind of coalescing together, uh, leading into Governor J.B. Pritzker's budget and state of the state address. And um, that's going to be at noon today, noon. All right. Uh, if you want and you can watch it live, go to the centersquare.com slash Illinois. Uh, we'll have a live feed put up there so you can watch that uh, and hear the governor's presentation and see uh, the joint session of the legislature with the House and the Senate coming together, the governor walking in, Supreme Court justices walking in, all the constitutional officers walking in, the governor delivering his address, and uh, we'll know then <clears throat> just how much of your tax dollars the governor is looking to spend. And I imagine you'll hear, too, uh, about the credit upgrades. I imagine you'll hear, too, uh, the... Uh, <laughs> uh, the, the rainy day fund uh, being increased, so all of that uh, playing a, a role in this. Uh, but one thing also I think is going to be important to uh, to track, again, we focused a lot on that migrant health care cost, uh, but also just the overall cost of uh, the non-citizens in general. And uh, Comptroller Susanna Mendoza, she actually released a portal yesterday. and pull this up so you can uh, see this for yourself. This is on IllinoisComptroller.gov, and it's the Asylum Seekers 
uh, portal. And uh, what you see here is uh, it breaks down all of the spending, uh, but only from November. So if you look here, uh, and this is on the comptroller's website, you'll see that uh, you know the total spending is $31.2 million, but that is only from uh, November, I believe. Let me see if I can s scroll out here. Yeah, November 1st, 2023 through February 20th, $31 million. And this Asylum Seeker uh, portal, uh, the grant portal, uh, it breaks down which agency is sending the money, uh, where it's going to. For instance, you've got you know, $5.4 million going to the city of Chicago. That's on top of $11.6 million going to the city of Chicago. Uh, you can see a bunch of other uh, various agencies and uh, nonprofits. Uh, so, yeah, uh, clearly a lot of spending going on, but uh, this $31.2 million is only from November 1st of 2023. But the uh, ongoing migrant crisis has been happening since August of 2022. Uh, so we'll uh, continue to track that spending as well. It is Bishop on Air. Thanks for hanging out. It's just a preview of what happened yesterday. Uh, I will tell you, though. The uh, House Judiciary Criminal Committee, where we highlighted some of those gun laws that could be proposed and discussed, that committee hearing yesterday was canceled with a whole host of other committee hearings, so they didn't even touch any of those bills. We'll see if they get to that uh, before the March primary or after the March primary, but today's a big day with the governor's budget address and state of the state address. All right, uh, appreciate you guys being here each and every weekday morning. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and uh, stay tuned, as always, with Bishop on Air.